Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be seeing how 2020 would have been if if the, no coronavirus happened, the Black Lives Matter movement still did occur. Please keep that in mind. I did, however, already upload this video, but unfortunately there was an audio problem and I had my mic turned off the whole time. Yay, lucky me, of course. But don't worry, I'm back. I'm gonna, I'm re-recording the whole video. So, let's begin. First thing I would like to say is that the coronavirus was a great boon to the Democrats. As we can see, if you looked at the first, second, and third debate, when I say second, I mean vice president. If you looked at all the debates, you would see that the Democrats were pushing coronavirus as a fault on the Republicans. And that seriously helped them. Why? Because his handling of the coronavirus, they were able to blame. They were able to push all the cases on him. And he still do, still do well. So I'm going to just watch the first debate, um, 2020 COVID segment. Sorry about that. Um, so here, here we are in the first debate. You guys should be able to hear in a second. Okay. Based on what you have said and done so far and what you have said you would do starting in 2021, why should the American people trust you more than your opponent to deal with this public health crisis going forward? Crisis. If there's a crisis, it's on the incumbent's hands. That's what the general idea is anyways. So again, just, straight away that it's considered a crisis is a bad thing for Donald Trump. The question goes to you first, sir. Two minutes uninterrupted. Good luck. 200,000 dead. Okay, already he's pushing the facts. You said over 7 million infected in the United States. Stating the facts. We, in fact, have 5%, 4% of the world's population, 20% of the deaths. More facts. 40 See, he keeps talking stats and facts about COVID because it's, the Democrats' greatest opportunity as the president. people a See. day are contracting COVID. In addition to that, about between 750 and 1,000 people a day are dying. When he was presented with that number, he said it is what it is. Well, it okay, that's even better for them. They're helping. you are who you are. Again, that's why they're blaming it completely on Donald Trump, saying these all deaths, these all cases, the blood is on your hand, Donald Trump. And the Americans believed him because he is the president. So they were that that really helped them. I don't think I need more of this debate. Clip. Let me see. This. What it is. The president has no plan. Yeah, he that's how they were able to tell the American people. The president has no idea what's going on. The president cannot solve this public health crisis. The president cannot do anything he was basically saying the president which makes sense he was the president for a while now and now people are saying are putting the whole covid on him how are you supposed to deal with that if there's a crisis history has repeatedly shown you're doomed here Look, we're at, about to go into the VP Whoa, debate. You've got on $68 shorts. Fabletics Men wants to learn how we can make our new fundamental short there a little go. more like yours. The VP debate is about to be here. It was the vice presidential candidates and the pandemic. What is the greatest failure of any president? Failure. Saying it is failure. Another fact that they are pushing it all on Donald Trump. So if you see, my point here is the Democrats were able to blame the coronavirus as a thing of Donald Trump's doing. 
But what would happen if they didn't get this great thing? If they didn't get this boon to help them out? If they didn't get this thing that basically assured them victory? How? Well, let's see. First of all, I would like to address some things. If the coronavirus never occurred, the economy would have continued to rise under President Donald Trump. And those were the stats and facts. Instead, of this time, Donald Trump would be pushing the facts. He'd be saying stuff like, the economy had... The economy has risen so high under my administration. How are you going to do better than that, Joe? How are you going to do better than that? He's going to he's going to push his facts now. And he is go and the Democrats were able to take the focus away from Donald Trump's e strong economics. They took it away from that smartly and put it on the coronavirus. But if they didn't have the coronavirus. How were, what are they supposed to put it on? They can't blame it on anything. They can't blame him on anything. Yes, his approval rating numbers were still low, but still, it wasn't that bad. The economy was going high, the international tensions were less, and he had kept quite a few of his promises. So I'd say, so we can agree he did not do worse than he actually did. So that means keep, get, keeping him, keep, letting him keep the states he already took. Then we have Colorado, New Mexico. I think those would be likely Democrat. Virginia, likely Democrat. They didn't like Trump, so did New Hampshire. Maine, second district. Yeah, I'd say it's likely or a safe Republican. Nebraska 2nd District, lean Democrat. That's a change. I still think he'd be able to win it. I think Trump would be able to take Georgia. They went to, that went to him by less than one percentage point. So I think that could have easily flipped in his favor. Yes, it would have gone left, but it would have not flipped in favor. Of Joe Biden. Because Donald Trump would have said, Are you actually going to replace me? I have had so much economic success. He would have moved the direction entirely onto the economy. His strongest point, as we are here on CNN's map, let, by 0.4% he won Arizona, and by 0.3% Joe Biden won Georgia. So I could easily see those states going to Donald Trump. Still by lean margin, though. Nevada, I'd say he could win that. He could. He all, It was close enough in 2020 to be flipped. Wisconsin, he can win that. It was so close in 2020. He can win Michigan. He can continue to push. They would have voted to re-elect him. He would say, last time you guys voted to re-elect, uh, to vote for me. Now I've shown uh, success. And don't, are you actually going to pick do-nothing Democrat Joe Biden while I care about the people he does not? He's going to say that. He is going to do the same strategy with Hillary Clinton. And, is, and it is going to work. However, it might be a little closer margins. So it would be 2016 without Nevada. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you agree with the results. Tell me if anything would be different, any alternate history you want me to do, or anything you want in the comments below.